I observed for many years. And only today, when I am sure that she is not following me, I dare to speak out about this incident. The protagonist of story is named Ella. In 2014, when Ella just started working, there was an older sister in the company, Olivia, who took great care of Ella, and over time the two became good friends. However, Olivia's condition was very strange during that period. When Ella asked her what was wrong, she was evasive and didn't say anything. Not long after, Olivia was sent on a business trip by the manager. Ella knew Olivia well. Her family had a ragdoll cat and a teddy dog. Usually, when the department needed to go on a business trip, she would keep silent and try every means not to go in order to take care of the cat and dog. But this time, Olivia volunteered to go. Before she left, she gave the house key to Ella meaning that she would trouble her to feed the cat and walk the dog during this period. Ella agreed without hesitation, but she also had to work during the day, so she planned to eat dinner every night, walk the dog, change the cat litter, and play with the cat. But on the first day, a water pipe in their house burst. By the time she finished repairing and cleaning up, it was already 10 o'clock in the evening. She had promised Olivia, so she quickly changed her clothes and went out. She was in such a hurry that she even forgot to bring her glasses. When she arrived at Olivia's house and just opened the door, the teddy dog enthusiastically rushed out, barking in the corridor. Ella, who was already nearsighted and not wearing glasses, looked into the room. With the light from the doorway, Ella saw Olivia's white rag doll cat sitting quietly on the armrest of the sofa, with its back to her, not even looking back at her. She thought, it's so late. If this teddy keeps barking in the corridor, it will disturb the neighbors. So she decided to walk the dog first and take care of the cat when she came back. After walking the dog, when she was ready to go upstairs, the little teddy was very reluctant. It kept lifting one foot, hesitating. Ella felt like someone was staring at her from the top of the building. The feeling was very uncomfortable, so she was a bit irritable. She thought, I'll just finish my task quickly and go home to rest. With that, she picked up Teddy and went upstairs. This time, Teddy was in her mom's, although it didn't want to go into the house. It couldn't run away. As soon as Ellen opened the door, she felt a cold wind blowing in the room. And it smelled very fishy. She reached out to turn on the light, but the light wouldn't turn on. The ragdoll cat was still sitting on the armrest of the sofa, motionless. She thought. Did Olivia turn off the main switch before she left? With the light from the sound controlled light in the corridor, she noticed that there were many dark footprints on the floor, whether they were purple, red, or black. She couldn't tell. Just then, she heard a particularly miserable cat cry coming from the bathroom. At that moment, Ella's heart jumped into her throat. The cat is in the bathroom. Then what's on the armrest of the sofa? At that moment, she heard a voice from the direction of the armrest neither male nor female, asking. Who are you? She immediately picked up the dog and ran, calling Olivia as she ran. But Olivia didn't answer, so she sent Olivia a message saying there was a strange person in her house. I managed to get the dog out, but I couldn't take care of the cat, and I really didn't dare to go back. Olivia didn't reply to her. The next day when she arrived at the company, the manager was dealing with several lawsuits. 
Olivia hadn't arrived at the business trip destination on time. At this point, she remembered what happened last night and quickly reported to the manager. She suggested that she take a few colleagues to check on Olivia's house. The manager also realized the seriousness of the problem and agreed. When they entered the corridor of Olivia's house, Ella realized something was wrong. There were red prints on the stairs where the little teddy had stepped. Looking at the black pants she wore last night, she saw red footprints where the teddy had jumped on her. She quickly led the group upstairs, opened the door, and found that Olivia had died in the bathroom. Hanging from the shower curtain rod above her was her cat. They quickly reported to the police. Later, the manager told Ella that Olivia had mentioned to her several times that there was always a faceless woman with gray hair wandering around their house. She walked in small steps, sometimes scratching at the door, but her face was always unclear. She had already planned to move, but the house she had chosen was not available for a few more days. So she wanted to use this business trip as an opportunity to hide for a few days, but she didn't expect something to happen. In other words, what was on the armrest of the sofa was never a cat. It was the back of the head of the white-haired woman squatting on the side of the sofa. The company has been following the progress of this case, but there has been no result. The teddy dog had to be taken care of by Ella. One night, when she was walking the dog, she felt like she was being watched again. As they passed a garden, the dog suddenly froze, staring at a bush. She also curiously looked into the bush. As a result, she saw a head of silvery white hair and a sneaky figure, which she ignored. She picked up her dog and started to run wildly. By the time she got to the bottom of her house, the dog had already stiffened, scared to death. Later on, Ellen also moved. She like a control freak. She observed the people around him for a long time. Frequently changing jobs and addresses, slowly, he finally managed to forget about this incident. <laughs>